Okay, we're ready now to tour the inside of the dollhouse. Here's one quick view it's from the outside, looking from the back of the house toward the front of the house, down the porch that is on the side of the house, and the gazebo at the far end. Then we will cross over into the house, and we will see this is the main, really the largest room in the dollhouse. It's what I guess we would consider the living room. The, uh, the entry which has, uh, you know, has a kind of a marble tiled oval shaped floor area surrounded by carpet and it's got a chandelier which needs a little straightening up. I will probably remove the chandelier entirely and put some other kind of fixture in here. Um, nice staircase. Uh, good job on the detailing there. But what you'll see is uh, the wallpaper the carpet, which is a very light green color, it's just very dated and I'm going to take it all out. I don't know that I'm going to actually try to remove the wallpaper. I will most likely just cover over it. I'll put up uh, some, uh, some veneer wall sections, just go over the top of it, which will thicken up the walls. There's nothing wrong with that. But it'll mean that I'll probably have to remove all the, the baseboard trim and the door trim and hopefully reuse them. But there's uh, the colors just don't work for me at all. I do like the front door color. I may leave that, but all the wallpaper must go and the carpet. Next room over, I believe this was the kitchen. And you can see it has uh, chandeliers hanging as well. And it has this kind of this parquet wood floor. That's coming out for sure. Uh, the wallpaper again will be veneered over and if you look beyond you'll see behind that uh, grill work which is also coming out is the stained glass windows as you as they appear from the outside with the light shining in again I'm probably going to take those out and flip them around and put them on the interior unless the color scheme I decide uh, to use just doesn't work with the colors of the stained glass but that back in that back area is where she, the uh, previous owner had her her uh, kitchen table and chairs, and then this was the general kitchen area. And then off the kitchen we have one more room. This is in the uh, wing addition to the house, and you can see it's got uh, simulated wood paneling <laughs> and a wood floor. The wood floor is very thin, strips of wood, and it's already kind of buckled, so it's going to come out. I, I, I like my technique for wood floors, which is using craft sticks, which are thicker and of various lengths, and staining them. And uh, all this uh, wood uh, paneling will be removed, too. There is a, a ceiling fan with a single globe light below. That may stay. Curtains will have to come down. There you see it. some of the outlets that are in the walls. I'm going to position them so they're, they are uh, placed a little better and they're vertical. Don't have any tilt to them. And so, that's the extent of the first floor. So we go upstairs the second floor. This is just a hallway. Again, it's got uh, dated wallpaper in it and a wood floor that I will remove and replace. This was a bedroom and I already removed the carpet from that room because I wanted to see how the wiring was secured underneath and you'll see that it's just taped down. Not sure what I'm going to do about that yet. There's plenty of options to take care of that. The kit is actually designed to have this open bathroom area right off of the bedroom. Don't particularly like that. In fact, I don't like it at all. I am more inclined to get rid of this stub wall and make this one large bedroom. 
and then through this doorway I'm assuming this was treated as the master bedroom again carpet and wallpaper must go it was probably totally fine 30 years ago but it just doesn't work today this is a nice big room I'll probably keep it as the master bedroom and then off of the master bedroom this was a sitting room actually this was a nursery the previous owner had it as a nursery off the master not sure if I'll make it just a sitting room off the master or try to replicate a nursery but regardless the balloon wallpaper is going to have to go so that's the second floor So we'll go back to the staircase and we'll go up one more flight up to the third floor and up here we find uh, this was kind of designed as uh, almost like a family room and I'll probably have it be a third floor sitting room as opposed to a bedroom mainly because of the design you know nobody's going to walk up a flight of steps directly into a bedroom and I don't want to make a hallway in this space it would make the what's left of the space too small practically speaking to be a bedroom so I'll probably go ahead and make this a, a general family room or den or rec room and then through this door here's the restroom and you can see there's still the toilet paper on the wall. <laughs> I can't get close enough to tell if the toilet roll is over or under. Um, this, I'm probably going to keep this as a, as a bathroom, although the plan, it still doesn't quite make sense uh, because there's a doorway here that leads into the next bedroom over. So it's almost like a Hollywood bath between two bedrooms. But I have so much bathroom fixtures and accessories that I acquired with this kit, I feel compelled to go ahead and, and use it. So this will remain a bathroom. And then this is another bedroom. How you like that wallpaper? Uh, again, nothing wrong with it, probably 25, 30 years ago. But it makes the room dark, which in turn makes the room small. So I'm going to try to lighten it up, make it appear larger. And this is the room that's along the exterior. Here you can see the, the slight angle to the roof. This is where I'm considering maybe creating another opening, a door, to walk out onto this fairly good sized flat roof area and make it like a, a sun deck. And then above that we just have the flat roofs of the third floor. So here is, you know, again, an overall view of the interior of this dollhouse. I have no idea how long this will take me. I have other project, commissioned projects that I'm going to have to work on simultaneously. But I will continue to take videos of my progress as I go along. Uh, but I can guarantee you when I'm done, it will be a, a very noticeable improvement and not make it appear so 1985 in style. So there you have it, the Real Good Toys Newport with the added wing and the added gazebo. Thanks for watching. Bye.